Hey everybody, this is Jay the Minimalist, and in today's video, we're going to show you my EDC, which is my everyday everyday carry. Um, I wanted to make a video of this for a while. There's been one specific YouTuber I watch a lot lately, and I can't remember his name, uh, but I'll put his name on the screen somewhere like right here. I'll put his name there so you guys can check out his channel. I think he's relatively new as well, but uh, absolutely love his videos and his recommendations on notebooks, EDCs, and bullet journaling or journaling in general and I like a lot of his tips and tricks that he has and some little things that he recommends while bullet journaling which is pretty neat just so you guys are aware we do have another video coming up soon where I just, I'm going to show you guys the finished result of a van build that I built uh, for my father it's a 2022 Toyota Sienna and it's really neat it's very minimal. It's a very minimal build, but if you guys want to check out that video, make sure you guys like and subscribe, or subscribe and hit the bell notification so you guys can get notified when I upload that new video. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and get into it. So this is my EDC right here. This is everything that I use on a daily basis, with the exception of one thing, and I'm going to grab it because it's on me. I should probably take this here. So this is another, another part. Here. That's always on me at all times. So we have my wallet. I've had this wallet, the specific wallet, the Alpine Swiss uh, leather wallet, and I've had it for over four and a half years, and it has been super durable. And weather's nice, has a shiny finish to it. Uh, originally, it doesn't look like this. It just kind of looks like that over time. Uh, it's been great. Haven't had any tears, rips, or anything. Um, very very nice and minimal. That's an extra SIM card I keep with me. Um, just in case I run out of data, I can put more on that. Uh, I'm not going to show my IDs or nothing like that, but yep, that's the everyday carry wallet that I do keep with me. The keys that I have, so anyone that's new to this channel may not know that I live in a vehicle. I can't disclose this vehicle yet because I told you guys in one of my last videos that I'm going to be switching vehicles, and I did. So the truck did get uh, sold, and I bought a different vehicle. Some people might be able to tell what it is just by looking at this key fob, but that's fine. So these are my my keys that I carry every day. Uh, I keep a carabiner, um, a safe key, my storage locker key, and then two keys that I use for some rentals that I've been maintaining uh, for my uncle. So uh, there's those as well. So that's these two. This is my watch. This is a Casio watch, and this is one of my favorite watches um, and that's probably one of the cool things about it is you can set like the beat for every hour uh, a bunch of really cool features that this watch has it's very basic and simple but it's durable and reliable and it's based off the F91W model I've had the F91W model before and I ended up breaking it putting my hand into a couch and when I pulled my hand out of the couch it got stuck in it tore the uh, the rubber uh, band off and broke the pen and I lost the pen that's the only reason I couldn't fix it so for 10 to 15 dollars best watch you can have extremely durable and when you break it you don't feel bad about it so really nice to have this is another item that I've had I've had this for about five years now and this is just a Kershaw switchblade and it's been through hell <laughs> If you guys can't tell so this is the Kershaw speed safe but look at the tip here it's been anybody that likes knives uh, would probably be very upset looking at this because it is destroyed um, it is sharp enough to you know break down boxes or uh, you know cut something here or there like paracord or whatever um, just a really good everyday carry knife it's been reliable durable and I really like the clip because it's super strong at one point I used just this knife. I've had this knife longer than this wallet and I used this as a money clip at one point. Very basic money clip. So there's that. This is my six-year-old iPhone 10s Max and I have put two new batteries in it 
its entire lifetime. So it does have two, well, it has had two big batteries. One before the original that broke and then the one that's in it now. The one in it now is amazing. But if you guys can see, it's super clean and shiny. You guys can probably see me filming. Um, but it's a really great phone and there's no real reason for me to upgrade yet. I know that the iPhone uh, 15 Pro or 15 in general came out uh, just recently and I do like that because I use a MacBook Air with USB-C and then my phone and I would like to just have one cable for the minimal aspect of it all but uh, lightning is good for now uh, whenever this one breaks or probably maybe the iPhone 16 is probably what I'll upgrade because then this would be seven years old and um, I don't know it's been a good phone I, I don't feel the need to upgrade it yet so there's that Go ahead and pop it back into this case. This is a different OtterBox case. I've had several ones. I think this is the Commuter Series. I've had two different Defenders cases on this phone with its lifetime. And I had a screen protector on it, but now that it's a little older, um, I don't really care if there's some scratches and stuff on it. It's just to that point where it doesn't really matter to me. Um, after a few years, having a phone that's paid off and everything there's times where I even use this phone without a case because I want to use the phone as it was designed and be able to handle the, the device and feel the design of it you know I bought the phone because of the, of the design I bought the phone because of the ergonomics and how it feels you want to be able to feel what the phone feels like in your hand but uh, maybe this year I'll take the case off permanently and just use the phone as it is uh, without a case, caseless, because if it does crack or something, next year I'm going to get the new 16 or whatever. But there's that phone. And then this is a new piece that I've had uh, I implemented just this year. And just this year I implemented this. It's really nice. It's called the Viper Aid. Um, and what it is is like a, a pocket organizer, a pocket pouch thing. I'll show you guys what it looks like here. That's some of the branding there. A Viper Aid tactical equipment. It has a little belt loop on it. This was only 20 bucks on Amazon. I don't use the belt loop, but you can use it if you like. I use it for my pocket everyday carry notebook. Uh, this is a new notebook that I just got, and it has nothing in it yet. And I've only put it in here so you guys can see, and it's I got lucky that it barely fits in here, and it's really tight, but over time I think I might be able to stretch this Viperade pocket to where it accepts it a little nicer. And it needs to stretch because I didn't just buy one of these notebooks. I bought these notebooks in a pack of 60. So I got 60 of these for 20 bucks on Amazon, and I got 30 black ones and 30 brown ones. Um, the paper quality feels pretty good. You guys can see it there. It does have a date and page number on there, and it is a lined type of notebook. But the pages are relatively thick. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's, it's pretty thick. You can't see through it, which is nice. And it feels like a pretty good quality notebook for uh, $20, $23 for 60 of them. It's pretty nice. So that's going to be my new notebook. These are my two main two main pieces that I write with. So I have this, I believe it's a Pentel. I don't know if you guys can, if it'll focus on it. Uh, gra yeah, Pentel Graph Gear 500. Uh, it's a very basic um, mechanical pencil. I really like it. It's comfortable. And this is my main writing piece. I usually just write with a pencil. Um, and then if I need to sign documents, I use this Zebra pen. You guys have probably seen these before. It is still, it's a nice pen for the price, in my opinion. I've had really good luck with the F301s. And that just goes right here. It's nice because you have these two pockets on the side for your daily, daily carry pen or pencil. And then in the center, I just implemented this today. And the reason why I implemented it today is because I'm going to show you guys the notebooks that I used to use. Um, but my idea is to use this silver Sharpie and write uh, the, the months or, you know, 
like a monthly. So I, my, my goal is to use this planner for two months or so, and then every two months change out the notebook because you got 60 pages in it. So I'm going to probably do something like that with this. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to do that yet, but this is for the black notebook. And then for the brown notebooks, I'm going to have just a basic black Sharpie. So you can write on that as well. Uh, and I'm also thinking about implementing two of these. One for uh, my monthly bills, because I keep my bills organized on a notebook to remember when things need to be paid. And then maybe another one for just notes, note taking. Or maybe I'll implement uh, the smart idea that uh, this guy, I can't remember his name, um, absolutely love his videos. I'm going to put his name right down here. He recommends putting in uh, post-it notes inside here or right here. So if somebody comes in through the door, you just write down a note there and then you can implement it in your planner uh, when you feel like you need to implement it, which is pretty neat. So before I had these really nice notebooks, I think they're nice. They're basic because once you're done with them, you pretty much just you never use them. It doesn't need to be fancy or anything. I have these two right here. This was my first one, and this was an idea of a YouTuber that i seen online, and I can't remember who, what his name is. Maybe I'll put his name down here, too, so you guys can see uh, where I've gotten these ideas from. These aren't my ideas. These are ideas that have been, uh, I've absorbed. I absorbed this idea, and I've used it, and I really like his idea of the cheap dollar store notebook. This is like a Dollar General notebook. I bought these, a pack of three for, I can't remember how much, I think it's like three for five bucks or three for th three bucks, something, something around that range. And this was my first one, and this was my second one. And I went to the store a few days ago to, to buy the same exact book because this book fits amazing in the ViperAid pocket organizer. Look at that. Perfect. It slides in easy and pulls out easy. Really nice, convenient. But I went to the store and they were out of these. And then I went to the other Dollar General, which was about a few miles down the road, and they were out. And the other one, they were out. So I don't know if this is just not a thing anymore or if it's just because the school season's back in or college and people really like these. But yeah, I can't get these anymore. So. I decided to commit and buy 60 of these for $23 on Amazon. And I actually like it because the height is nicer. It's a little taller, so you have more writing space. And I'll show you guys in this notebook. So this is like a monthly bill. My monthly bills, how I set it out for October. This is for next month. Um, I was going to use this book, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use the new one and get used to that. But I number each line with the date, and then the day, I'm um, a um, piece of, not a piece of mail, <laughs> I'm looking at that, um, whenever a bill is due. So my mailbox is $20, storage $32, uh, gym and YouTube premium all come out on the same day there, and then my insurance. And that's all my bills, guys. I have no rent. I'll show you, I'll talk to you guys about that in another video, but that's the total bills, monthly expense uh, for that. But really nice notebook. This is the everyday carry that I carry on a daily basis. It's always with me, and it's convenient. Um, some things might change in the future, but it's pretty, it's been pretty much the same thing that I've had for for years. This is pretty much what I use on a daily basis. So, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you guys dislike it, you can go ahead and click that dislike button as well. If you guys want to subscribe to see more videos in the future, go ahead and do so. Click that bell notification icon so in the future when I upload a new video, you get notified that I did. Uh, other than that, this is my everyday carry. This is Jay the Minimalist. Peace.